Good morning, everybody. Today is May 8th, 2019. It's 60, but feels like 64 here in North Idaho. I'm Jody, and welcome to Moose Flats Farm. So while David John's looking to find me some more plumber tape, I'm going to lay the soaker hose, scatter some marigolds, and put shavings on top of the potato bed. Okay, that looks pretty good. And every year I save my marigold seeds. For the most part, they've gone back to a baseline little orangey yellow marigold, but they're good for adding a little pop of color in, in the beds. And so I'm just gonna scatter some, then I'll put the shavings over the top and water it in. And if they did like they did last year with the tomato plants, they, we had marigolds all over the place. So I got the marigolds. Okay, I'm gonna water that in and see how that works. So while David John's deconstructing part of the chicken fence to put in a new fence for the turkeys, I'm going to be attaching the cattle panels. So I'm going to be using these easy clips. They're for uh, cat six, but they're just quarter inch cable clamps just enough to hold the panels in place. And I'm not using the screws that came with them. I'm using inch and five eight screws. Plan A didn't work, so now we'll go and figure out a plan B. Plan B. 
plumber's tape. That holds it a lot better. So I'm going to do the other three and check back in with you guys. I think it's time to go check and see what David John's got done. So we're the back end of the chicken pen that had the White House. We're going to revamp that to turkey, turn into the turkey pen. You can see he's pulled the fence back. Now the chickens have a double layer right at the moment. Keep them safe, extra safe. But tearing that down, that's just gonna go away. It's gonna reuse the roof. Which is right there to make their new shelter. And as you see there is the wood to do the chicken coop. But I'm gonna tear that down, clean some of this stuff up back here. Get rid of all that junk stuff. And the fence is gonna go to here go to this post so we'll give him another eight foot another 24 square feet to run around in whatever well I got the arches up got the solar lights that Dave John bought me on it accidentally pulled too hard on one so have to fix it I'm talented that way. But there's my arches. I did the solar lights two different ways. I'm gonna see which I like better and then redo the other two. Okay, so these are the solar lights that I have on the trellises. And those two run through the whole body of the panels. Still need to get that one fixed, but that one's just at the front. But I think I'm going to change it so it 
runs through the whole body and not just the front. What do you guys think? Let me know. Well, I'm out here in the garden, gonna dig the walkways for the in-ground garden so I can start planning what goes where and getting it into the ground. And I don't know if the microphone will pick it up or not, but the one little Benny that's a rooster, he's starting to crow. He sounds really funny. I'll have to see if I can get that on camera. Well, got the basic bones of the nine rows done. Now I get to go in, get cleaned up, and head to work. But before I do that, I'll show you what they look like. There are my nine hills. There are my nine rows. Not bad for an hour's work. And I'd say the potatoes are good and watered. Turn that hose off and move on. So I'm gonna end today's video out here at the White House, the new turkey shelter. I'll give you a quick tour and move on with the rest of today's chores. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you on next Sunday's video. Bye. The whole back of the turkey condo is clear Lexon so they get plenty of light so they don't feel isolated. It is now and I'll back out here in a second and show you how tall it is. But I've got a covered area for them. And then inside here is completely open. And I got a big old log roost. And to start it, we'll just do clear plastic with a whole where the ramp is just until they get a little more hardened off but they have area down below and we'll have their food here but there it is David John's got the tea posts in going to be stringing the fence here in a couple minutes their water dish will probably have out here on this chunk of concrete so it stays cleaner but 
looks pretty cool. Hopefully they like it. 